yeah, today has been great. Um, not a circuit I've won at before at Fox Hill, so it was nice to get that monkey off my back and really uh, show everyone that I can do all surfaces. You know, today was extremely hard pack. Uh, we've had a lot of sand in the British Championships this year, and I have been pushed at certain rounds. Um, the first two motos today, I didn't really feel like it was pushed too hard. Uh, I think a six second gap and an eight second gap, but Krestinov in the last one was riding really well. At one point, I didn't actually think I was going to make it. I thought he's riding too good. So. It was uh, it was good to to see that um, you know aggression from from someone not new but you know to see him up the sharp end and, and riding well but I was just a little bit too strong for him at the end and uh, managed to make it work and you know the overalls are important for me but you know I'm a racer at heart and I want the the race wins as well so I'm happy to get it done get top step of the podium and again good points for the championship and uh, I guess you welcome the challenge because after so many runaways to have someone to chase helps you brings you along ahead of the GPs. Yeah, it's great. I mean, when you come to one of these races and, and you're not challenged that much, you tend to sort of slack a little bit or the lap times drop. You don't push as hard as you need to. Uh, a couple of times I've seen Max doing that this year. You know, you, you just do as much as you need to do. You know, it, it can can turn out to be a training exercise. And when you have to push that a little bit more, that's what I like about racing. Uh, on my weekends off, away from the from the Grand Prix, anyway, it, it kind of challenges you, and it's nice to be to be pushed to the end. Although when you think think back on it, you think I'd rather have an easy race. But it's it's one of them where we're here to race, we're here to do battle, and uh, that's what we've done today in the last race. It's good for the crowd. It's good for British motocross. And I guess that's the reason you're going over to uh, Unadilla as well, just for challenge, and to help bring you on even more. Yeah, I think Unadilla has been. Uh, it's been a childhood dream of mine to go over and race an AMA. It's one of them uh, where everyone looks at America and thinks, you know, how, how great would it be to ride over there? I've done a couple of uh, US GPs at Glen Helen and it's a great experience, something new. Tracks are prepared a lot differently to we have in Europe, especially this year with everything being so hard and fast. But it's uh, it's finally come true. We've got the, everything booked. I'll be riding a 2016 KTM uh, rather than a 2015 model. So I've already done some some testing and some some riding to get used to the bike a little bit. Um, so we're basically going to fly in, um, have some fun, not really set up too many expectations. Just really have a good weekend's racing, uh, using as a, use it as an experience, and come home from it um, with a big smile on our face and uh, crack on with the last few GPs. Uh, you say you're not setting any expectations, but seeing as it has been a childhood dream, are you sort of hoping that you're going to be able to capitalise on that? Because who knows when an opportunity like this will pop up again? Yeah, it's it's obvious, you know, in the back of my mind I'd like to do well. I don't want it to be a disaster by any stretch. So, you know, I think everyone knows my style is to go and give 100%. I will be doing that and, uh, you know, a couple of good starts. Um, you know, I should be up there. I, I don't see why you know, a couple of top fives or, you know, a couple of results within top ten anyway are, are definitely not without, uh, you know, something I, I can achieve. So let's hope that that comes true and uh, we can come back and and uh, just make a bit of media about it, you know, make something a bit new. It's not often guy a guy goes over and does uh, one event. And the Sal's done it in Strybos in the past with help from, uh, from their team. So, yeah, looking forward to it. And uh, as I say, it'll definitely be something that's uh, ticked off the list. And uh, you've got a 2016 KTM, but you're going to have help from the factory team, BTO, or will you be doing it like you do here with the uh, private itself? Um, there will be support from the factory team, but um, you know it'll just look like my normal bike. So I'll have my Hitachi Revo KTM UK stickers on it. Um, it's, it's been a, it's a good opportunity for them to uh, <clears throat> provide me with something that I can do a good job on. It's great for me that you know it doesn't cost too much work, and uh, you know I can still showcase my own sponsors and. Uh, you know, off the side of one of the awnings, you know, whatever it may be. Um, we're still in final negotiations with that, so, you know, just looking forward to it and, uh, you know, hopefully it'll turn out good.